everybody, this is Snook, and um, I think this is day six that I've been doing the challenge, so I only have one more day after today, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I've been having fun reading the uh, free rights and the stories and stuff, but it's kind of taken its toll on me too, <laughs> so so I'll be happy when my, my seven days are up, for a couple days anyway. But um, today I went all the way back, and this is the second free ride I ever did. And um, again, I am not a writer, um, so it goes to show you um, that the free riding exercise can really bring out um, things in you that you didn't know you had. Um, I call myself a storyteller because I always did tell stories when I was a kid. I would make them up and as I was growing up and to me there's no uh, straight answers. There's always a story behind it. So in my head anyway. And um, so it's, it's helped me um, find that little girl again and um, be able to write stories again, which is which is good. Um, the hard part for me is is I don't know proper English very well, and uh, so that gets frustrating. And the more I write, the more frustrating that gets. And it's something you can learn, but um, I got a lot on my plate right now, so <laughs> taking English classes is not really at the top of my list of things to do. <laughs> So anyway, um, for today I'm going to read my day eight. That's I started on day seven, so I actually missed the first uh, first uh, well six days. There's actually a couple prompts in there that were really good that I want to eventually go back and and try to do something with. Um, but anyway, this is day eight. Um, it was a five minute free write, and the prompt was started. So, uh, okay, let me get my place here. Sorry about that. It's late and I'm tired and I have a very busy day tomorrow. So. Okay, so started was the prompt. The day started for Karen like any other on a cold hill facing the ocean. The house had walls that were paper thin and the wind always blew from the east right into her kitchen. She was trying as fast as she could to get the fire started again from the night before. Today, though, would be a day she would remember forever. She was finally moving today. The buyers for the house were coming at noon. She wanted the house as warm for them as she could make it. As she was feeding logs into the stove, she turned and smiled over her shoulder at Tom and started to give him a stern lecture on behaving today of all days. She needed Tom to be a good ghost today. No chains to scare people away. No fake boo to make people jump and run away. He needed to use his best manners today because the family that was going to be moving in needed a responsible ghost to help watch their daughter Kathleen. She was a frail child and needed care 24-7. Beep! And that's how I got done in five minutes and stopped. Um, I do use um, Grammarly um, to write on in my five minutes because I'm a terrible typer too <laughs> and speller. So um, I will go through, I will just type what I can, but and nobody would be able to read it. Uh, so I do go back in and um, fix my errors, you know, so it's legible. So I can actually post something and people don't think I'm crazy. Maybe one day I'll freak everybody out and <laughs> post one. <laughs> oh, it's actually written. <laughs> and then they'll go, oh, well, that's why she fixes it. <laughs> Okay, I'm having too much fun all by myself talking to a camera. Okay, have a wonderful day. <laughs>